This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Bats versus Wall. You all have been together for several years. You're building your relationship, but allegations of cheating are interfering with your building this relationship and have caused problems with what you're trying to build. Is that right, Ms. Bats? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you opened this case today. Tell us why you're here. Jeffrey is a cheater. My lease is about to be up in 10 days, and I want to see when I move, am I taking him with me? Oh, okay. that's it. He's a cheater. He cheated with my friends, with anybody that come around. He cheated with our not, roommate. I did not cheat. I did not lie. cheat. I, Yana, I did not cheat with the roommate. That is a lie. But what, what do you want to show her? You're here today. She has made these allegations. I, I want to show her that I didn't have sex with our roommate, with, with her roommate, which is her friend. That's not true. Why do you specifically believe that Mr. Wall is cheating? I sent Mr. Wall to the store one day. He was gone for hours. So I was like, oh my God, maybe something happened to my guy. Uh, nah, that go. I called his friend, and that's when I found out we was living in the same po- complex as his ex-girlfriend. Ooh. And that's probably where he was going when, he, when I sent him to the store all the time because he'd be gone for hours. No. Did you know your ex was living in the complex? Yes. She was living oh, there before on. he Did moved Did you here. know that she was living in the complex? Yes, Sean, because I figured more or less, like, one lives here and we live here. They're never going to see each other. Really? 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 But here's the thing. Here's the real issue. It's not so much that you go into the store, but you did not tell her some critical information about this move that she would have wanted to know. And so, if, right. we, if we move somewhere... Yeah. I have to let you know who's in the yes. neighborhood. Is that what you're saying? I, no. You just need to let me know if an ex is in the neighborhood. <laughs> but your ex is, man, I ain't worried about that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I've given you no reason to worry, right? Yeah, that's it. I've given you no reason to worry. Uh, that's it. But you understand how she feels. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Miss Miss Bat- my best friend. I knew her since that's I was That's what nine. I was going to ask you about, Miss Bat. I you knew her since I was nine. Bad. I was hanging out with her. She was like, oh, everybody wanted a piece of me. So I didn't say nothing. I put my head down because she was like, oh, I don't know why you putting your head down. Jeffrey want to... Me too. All right, I, okay. So I'm like, what? This guy texts, they've been texting for months since we, like, they've been together for like a year, I'ma say. And he took $200 from her. Hold on, Ms. Oh. Bat. I need to hear like, the reason for these texts. Okay, her friend seen the way I was treating her. I was treating her good. We was hanging out, we was going places, and we were really? doing things, okay? Now her friend tried to get in on the back end. Oh. You I let see- her in no. on the back end. No. You no, opened I the did door. Not. I did Ms. not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not. Her friend offered me money. I took the money on a promise that I was going to do something with the friend, but I didn't. After he took... Okay, so what were you going to do with this friend? Have sex. What did you promise? Because after to have sex, because after he took the money and I found out they was having sex, no. I, I, I found out they was texting, and I was like, "Don't do that. Like that's real I... messed up. Like this, my friend. Like you wildin'." He was like, "Oh, I'm a, I was only playing with her. All right, if you was only playing with her, and I told you to stop playing with her, why are y'all still playing? Then? No, no, yeah, I, listen. So, Miss Bats, only, hold, only, hold on, hold on, Miss Bats. Why you y'all still playing? Su- you actually submitted to the court your recollection of text that you received. Yes. from this woman, right? Yes. Oh. Okay. The other woman wrote, you shut up. That's why your man is in my bed now. Yes. And you responded, girl, bye. Yes. And she responds, I can give him something you never can, a baby. Oh. oh. She only saying that because I had a, I had cervical cancer and I had a hysterectomy so I can't have babies no more. And he helped me with that too. Like, that is mad crazy stuff. That's, that's kind of pretty deep. I have, that's, I that's have that's a lot deep. of rebuttals for this. Okay, I, I wait a, a minute. I, I, need, I need to hear, first of all, why you are texting back and forth with this woman. For months. And you, for months. Months. And you got Miss Bats. That's number one. Then number two, who takes money and think they ain't gonna have to pay for it? Okay, okay. her friend, Thank her... you. So, let's go. Why are you texting for months with this woman? They're a couple. Hold on, Ms. Bass. Not... Let him I was not texting for months. It was maybe like a month. He lied. Okay, like a month. Coming. The only time, the only time Bass, I see the woman is... It, the only time I see the woman is if I'm with Tamika. A lot, and we be at her house. How she give you money and you with her all the time? Okay. The money situation... The money situation... Ms. Bats. Ms. Bats, we, we want to hear from him, okay? Go ahead. Okay, how I got the money from my friend, 
Tamika called me and said she had some money for me. I rushed over there to get the money. Once I At was my friend house. Once I was leaving, her friend was like, text me. I was like, for what? So when I left, I texted her and she said, How much money Tamika gave you? I said, She gave me this much. She said, Well, I'll give you some. Come back. So I was like, Wow. Well. So I got, I went back, I got the money. Ask him I what got, he did I got with the, the money. I got the money on a promise. Okay, you give me the money, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take care of you. Let me take care of my business first. I took the money, I ran. I didn't tell her. And And what were you gonna take care of? <laughs> so you had two chances to say no. When she said, text me, you could have not texted her, but how you went on and texted part? her. Two weeks. Hold then on, when you on, texted her, she said, how much money did she give you? Come back, I'll give you, I'll give you that much. You went back. So you had two chances to say no, and you didn't. So the question is, did you sleep with this woman? No, you know. But you promised to. Uh, yes, yes, you know. I promised to sleep with her, but I didn't sleep with her. You think she gonna let you take her money and you not actually, what, actually fulfill your promise? He did. You think got, that's gonna happen? He did. I got, him, I, I, I got her money. I got he the did. money. She didn't do nothing. Because after he took the money, they still was talking. <laughs> you wouldn't still talk to somebody if you took I their money. Now, you also said, Ms. Bats, that there was a friend, and I'm presuming a roommate, rather, yes, my that friend, he's been involved with. Tell me about that. Another friend. I was at, I was at work. Okay. Her, friend, her friend is always flirting with me when she's at work. Everybody. Her friend is always with flirting with me. You're that cute. Okay. That's right. Look how right. I look. Look how I look. Okay. All right. Come on. So Tell me I'm what at happened. Work. It's late. It's dark. I come from work. I live on the second floor. I go walking, but there's no light. So I'm like, oh, nobody's home. Nobody's there. I get inside. It's pitch dark now. The whole apartment, everybody lights is off. My door don't usually be closed, but this day it was closed. So I pushed it open and it was kind of dark. So I went walking around, but I saw like clothes on the floor. You know, like people just take their clothes off. And, right. Mm. Flip the light on. It looked like she just pure, looked like whoever it was, my, my roommate Lee, she pulled her pants down, her like boy shorts. You know mm -hmm. how you just step out the boy shorts. They yeah. right at the edge of the bed. Where she just pulled her shorts on and just climbed in the bed. I hung them over the door in the bathroom. My Never room is right by the phone. bathroom. I'm gonna hear or see somebody say, oh, there go my shorts. Right. Oh, uh, here she, where they was. I was looking for these. Maybe they was in the laundry. We don't do our laundry together. So, so that's how you knew it was your roommate's yes. underwear. And this yes. was a person that's been your friend since you were kids. Yes. She came, she she came got, and stayed no. for a visit. She came and it for became... a visit. Two women living wow. together. Two, two women living together. One woman at work, the other woman walking around like a predator. Tight shorts on. Oh. I'm not paying no attention. You get up and leave. That's, uh, but I, I, I'm not paying no attention to the woman. You would have so you I never even leave. flirted with the woman at all. So I don't even know how the woman got in her mind that I liked her or anything like that. I don't know nothing about no boy shorts or nothing like that. Was she flirting with you? Of course she's flirting, walking around with your tight shorts on when my girl's not there. Okay, so and you're at home. Asking me to go to the store for you and stuff like that when she's so not there. So your girlfriend's not there. Why he don't she, Hold, hold on, Ms. Ms. Bats, hold on. Because I could Ms. check Ms. when Bats. my girlfriend come back. Ms. Bats, please. So you're there with this woman. She's walking around, boy shorts on, trying to get your attention. You know she's trying to get your attention, and you don't act on it. No. Her friend is all about drama. Lee is all about drama. We was arguing every day after that. He come, oh. she come knocking on my door. Sling, stop texting me, please. <laughs> what? So, so what happened? Is she drama. still your roommate? No, I just see her in four months. We had a, like a, like a, it, it almost got into a hand altercation. That's how physical it was. It was like outrageous arguing. And he so, saying he didn't mess with her, so she going this hard for nothing. So you got into a fight, you kicked her out, you yes. haven't seen her in four months. Yes. All right, so there's your side, there's his side, and there's a roommate side, or ex-roommate side. She is here today. <laughs> Rob is cornering. She know we was coming here. You still was talking to her. Mm. All right, Miss Bats. Right. I know it's gonna be difficult. You you sit in your hands. You you're itching. I understand that. But we want to get to the answers that you came here to get. Okay. Good day, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing? All right. Would you state your name, please? My for the name court? is Lee Herrera. And you go by Lee. Lee. Yes. Okay. 
What is your relationship to Miss Tamika Bat? Um, me and Tamika were friends for a very long time, for more than over 10 years. And due to the circumstance that we got into this argument over some oh, shorts. Oh, well, yeah, sorry, language language in sorry court, that was um, found in her room. It's, it's, I feel, like I said, it's, she's insecure, very insecure person. I feel that maybe she has been, he has put her probably through a lot of stuff and that's where the altercation, the argument came from. But then I, the way I feel about her just putting me out her house with the way everything happened was like, I was not living there for free. I was paying your rent and you, instead of you coming to talk to me and really figuring out how the shorts got into your room or how it happened, you just, she kicked me out. Like, Lee, it was, what work you was paying? Well, I was paying you rent. I wasn't living there for free. What kind I was of paying rent? you $500 a month. You paid That's one time. One time? One time, when I came to your house, I told you, listen, I got a situation, and I'm gonna come and stay here with you. Now, don't start putting all, all the stuff that I we was not paying you. We all got situations. All right, you right. Okay. Miss, stay Miss, away. Miss, look, all right. What was your relationship with Mr. Wah? They None whatsoever. We didn't have no relationship. They My was relationship was with her. When I wasn't Miss, around. Miss Herrera, it, Mr. Uh, Wah has testified that you were flirting with him, that you were walking around the house dressed provocatively, boy shorts, tight shirts, and so forth. What is that true that you were walking around in those type of clothing? It was only one that one day I did have boy shorts, and due to the fact that I had them shorts on, because I was ready to go to bed. It was already late at night. I was ready to go to bed. I was about to go to uh, bed. I had a tank top. I was ready to go to bed. So you never had sexual contact None with Mr. None whatsoever. Wild. You never had sexual intercourse with Mr. Yes, they did. No. Yes, they did. Never. She, never. she told my mother, never. oh, my God, my mother called me one day. Hey, girl, what's going on? What's up with you and your threesome? That's what? what? That is such a lie. Uh, I have no idea, but I never had I, no type of dealings with the woman sitting on sitting next to y'all. Let me tell and you. And that's why. your story. And I'm sticking to you. Uh, that is your story. Uh, he said I'm sticking to it, part. That's your testimony <laughs> today that you have never had any kind of sexual relationship with Miss Herrera. I'm positive of that. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Yes. I think we've heard enough testimony. And we have a yeah. relationship on the lie. Miss Bantis said. My lease is coming up. And the question is, am I going with you or am I going by myself? Mm -hmm. And if you find out his cheating, Miss Bats, you're done. Yes, I and am. And you are going on your own. Yes, I am. All right. <laughs> to get to the bottom of all of this, the court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Patrick Coffey to determine is he cheating? Let's <laughs> call. I can help them help you. He is. You did a polygraph examination of Mr. Waugh, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. All right. Would you please state for the record your credentials? I'm a retired special agent with the U.S. Army Criminal Investigation Command. I did that for 20 years. Upon retirement, I opened a private investigation company and have been doing private investigations and polygraph examinations for the last 20 years. Mr. Wall was asked, since being in a relationship in January 2016 with Ms. Batts, have you had sexual intercourse with the roommate, Miss Lee. What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined he was being truthful. That's only one. Mr. Y, you looking better and better. <laughs> Let us do one more question. We got one more question. Since being in a relationship with Ms. Batts in January 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your girlfriend? What was his response? Mr. Wall made an admission <laughs> and said yes. What? Yes, ma'am, he admitted to having sex with three different women <gasps> on three oh. different occasions. What's going through your mind right now? So much. Talk to him. He needs to know what's rolling through there. You're a cheater. That's Give me one more chance, baby. No. I'll make it up. No. To like, don't listen to it. You was, it's like three girls. Like, you was, like, messy. Like, you real messy. So you're done. <laughs> you know, Miss Bat. 
You'll get to the other side of this. But what I would say to you, Miss Bats, is I'm you got go a friend here. I'm going to go to the other side by myself and we'll leave if she still wanted to be my friend. I love you, girl. You know you love her. I'm sorry, girl. Girl. Go over there and be with your buddy. <laughs> you all have been together for three years. You have two children together. But your home is on rocky ground. And the question is, will it stay there or will it move to firm footing? Mr. Owens, tell me why you've opened your case today. Well, I come here today because, really, I just want to figure out if she's cheating on me or not. I mean, I love this. I love this woman to death. I have two kids with her, and, like, I really want to marry her. But I can't see myself moving forward, you know, with so much suspense and not knowing. You feel me? It's... So you have all this suspicion, and you're wondering, what am I stepping into? Yes, ma'am. All right. Ms. McCullough, he's put it out there. You know, he needs to know, he needs some answers, but, you know, he thinks you're cheating. What do you have to say about that? Well, I'm not cheating. I just came on to prove to him that I'm not because I, I, I want to move us forward. I want to get married to this man, too. I love him. He does everything for me. Like, anything I ask, he'll do. You know what I'm saying? I love him. I want to move forward with him. So, I, we need to get it together. So you're like, I'm not giving up my good thing. Let's do this thing mm -hmm. so you'll know. Exactly. I, you know, you would think we got two people who want to move forward together. They should be moving. They should be moving. There has to be a reason, Mr. Owens, that makes you think something's amiss here. What have you seen? What have been the warning signs that there's cheating? First off, I would like to say I was going through her phone one day. And, okay. And, yeah, I know, it was bad, but... You know, when I you're looking, you're gonna find. Yeah. And I found. So, as I was looking through the phone, a family member had gave her a phone because okay. hers had got uh, disconnected for a little while. So, she was using the phone. And when she got the phone, there was nothing on the phone. No contacts, no nothing. So, it was a and, clean phone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so, a couple of days into having it, when I went through the phone, it was a picture of a man in his situation on the phone. Oh. A man, man in his situation. situation. You mean it like was, his... It was a tally knackle, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He went back to, like, what my grandmother would say. <laughs> For those of you who are not old enough, a penis pick? A hot dog without the bun. All right. That's what we gonna say. He gonna pull them all out. It, all right, well, we all clear. Right, but... You found this on the phone that she just got, which was clean when she got it. Yes, sir. And I presume it wasn't you. It wasn't mine. I know what mine looked like. <laughs> it wasn't even the same shade as me. Oh, oh, so you, okay. it was not you. No, that wasn't me at all. All right, Ms. McCullough, why do you have those kind of pictures on your brand new phone that was clean just two days before? A family member gave me this phone. Uh -huh. They felt like I was in the house with kids. I needed communication. Sure. When I got the phone, it was, it was clean. It wasn't nothing on there. But, like, that night, it was a text, and it was a picture of a man with his penis. Right, right. And... So who sent it? I don't know. I, so you just really getting... don't know. I just got the phone. Like they, the family member could have been on the phone and called everybody, erased everything before they gave it to me. But I don't know who penis it is. That's a flat okay, number. it's yeah. not a penis pick you invited. I had just got the phone. I didn't recognize the penis. Like so, <laughs> okay. I, I know what my my penis it's a looks like. Penis. A, a mystery penis <laughs> but shows up it, on your if phone. If that was the case, Your Honor, okay. wouldn't she have just deleted it? Yeah. Right, so like, if that's, you didn't want it in the, the phone, you didn't know, you didn't know whose it was. Wouldn't you just delete it instead of keeping it? That's what that's happened, what... right? Right. She just no, she kept it. It was still on our phone a couple days later. All right. So we got that. Are there any other uh, red flags that you've seen, Mr. Owens? Let's say about a month and a half ago, two months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I started receiving text messages from her ex's new girlfriend. At first, she started... She found me on Facebook. Okay. So, once she confirmed that, she gave me a call on Facebook and immediately just went down the line of, yeah, did you know that she's been sleeping with her ex and they're doing this, they're doing that? And I'm asking, like, how do you know? So, she goes... She proceeds to tell me, um... He's starting to go over and pick her up from work every day, drop her off home every day. 
they're spending a lot of time together and even as far as she pulled a family member to the side and the family member told her how she would send the kids outside to play while they were in the room by themselves doing whatever. She said they were just talking and chilling, but I believe it was more than that, because why would you have to send the kids outside? Well, anytime I hear talking and chilling together, I go, okay. Ms. McCullough, why are you spending time with your ex and spending time with your ex in that type of situation? My ex comes over to the house, like, if we're into it, he comes over to the house, he cuts the grass, he fixes stuff in the house. When you he say when we're into it. it, who do you mean? Hmm. When you two are not getting along? When me and Mark are not getting along. He comes, like, even he comes over to the house, he cuts the grass, he helps fix stuff in the house, he does all this, but I pay him. If I How was you sleeping... paying him? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm paying Thank him. you. Yeah. Hey, good question. <laughs> that was a good, good one. Question. <laughs> that was a good one. I pay him in cash. If we were sleeping together, I wouldn't be paying him to do anything in my house. But you understand this is a recipe for disaster, having your ex come over. And it'd be different if he's coming over taking care of your lawn when y'all together. But you made it very clear he only shows up when you two aren't getting along. It, it's not now, even... Honey, he even thought... He must have thought that we were into it one day because I'm, I'm in her... I'm in her house. We're sleeping in the bed and he comes over to the house. And once he finds out that I'm in the house, this man gets mad and literally comes in. He supposedly had left a fan there. When he found out I was in the house, he straight took his fan back. Give me my fan. So he was mad that you in the house. He's mad that I'm in the house. And why he why would he have any feelings if they're exes? Right. And then my thing is she already admitted that the man be trying to sleep with her and everything. So is if this he's true? trying to sleep with he, you, why he would has you have tried to sleep with me? But so I would why never be do friends that with him then? Why would, would you even put yourself thing, into that type of situation then? I get like, that. To hear it now, to hear it from everybody else, it's like it, it sounds bad, it. doesn't it? It does sound bad. You know why? I can only speak my truth. I can only tell you what happened or what I know. You know why it sounds on. bad? Because it's bad. Because it is bad. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't... <laughs> we have a friend of the court who's going to come and talk to us. She has been involved in relationships, and she's been involved in relationships where there have been allegations of infidelity and cheating and how you navigate that. So at this time, the court will call Arthur and star of Saints and Sinners and Tammy Ever After, Miss Tammy Roman. Rob, please yeah. escort Miss Roman in. I'm good. It's so good to see you. It's been a minute. It has. I'm You're looking swell. Good. You as well. Now, you know, we know you've had some in you've had some interesting things happen. Yes. And we want you to help this couple. Okay. How can can you share with them how issues of trust and its potential impact on a marriage? Can you share with them what that looks like? Yeah, well, I think that first of all, my mother used to say, if you look for something, you're gonna find it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but well, Mr. Owens is, is very concerned about his relationship, and he's nervous about the outcome of today's proceedings. I love the fact that you came here. You professed your love. You want this relationship to be right. I feel like men don't do that often enough. And you're saying, look, I love you. I just want to make sure you love me back. I respect that about you. You, my queen, <laughs> listen, them situations, <laughs> <laughs> all of that, penises showing up out of nowhere. <laughs> I, you know, I understand that things can happen. I'm not saying that, you know, that's not your case. Mm -hmm. It just could be, like, some odd things that have happened in your life and you haven't been doing anything. And when those situations present themselves, mm -hmm. that picture, you need to be like, I don't know who this is, delete. And, and, it, and if it right. is something, you need to call them and go, don't put it on right. this phone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. Well, Mr. Color, I think we have enough evidence at this point. Ms. McCullough, are you prepared for the results of today's proceeding? I am. I I'm not cheating on him. All I want to do is work, take care of my kids, eat, be happy and at peace. And I just need Mark to fall in line with it. That's all. I just need him to fall in line. 
Ms. Owens, are you ready, regardless of what the results might be? Yes, ma'am. I mean, I still gotta show, I have to show my sons that no matter how much you love a person, you still have to do what's right for you. Okay. And if you have to leave a person, then you have to just suck up and take that pain and go. All right. Well, to help you all get to the bottom of this, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call cyber analyst Gus Dimitrellis and forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please bring our experts in. Gentlemen. Good day, gentlemen. How are you all? Good day, Your Honors. Mr. Dimitrellis. What did you do to investigate this case? I conducted a full forensic investigation on the phone. The forensic investigation reveals pictures, videos, internet history, chats. Specifically, I was asked to find any evidence of cheating. What did you find when you initially investigated her phone? I found the phone did not have deleted data. In my 24 years of experience, when a phone does not have deleted data, it's either wiped or it's a new phone. I also found an application that cleans the phone. This cleaning application was deliberately used to wipe data from the phone. For the lay people in the world, when a phone's been wiped, what does that mean? That means there's not gonna be any evidence of anything other than what the person manually puts on the phone. Mm. And so it's one thing to delete that, it's another thing to wipe it. In this case, we have both, because there was another phone, a second phone I was supposed to analyze before the court. Prior to court, the phone mysteriously went missing. Ms. McCullough, we ordered you to have two phones. What happened to the second phone? I, 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 I don't know where the other phone is. My you, son had that phone. That's I, the when phone I with the got... Kelly on it. That, oh, that's the one that that's had the, the situation that, on it. Yeah, right, no, this phone that you the did not produce, that you say you don't know where it is, this is the one that had the, the penis picture the on penis it, correct? The penis on it. And you don't know where that phone went to? No. So, the, so we didn't get to see what was on that phone. That's correct, Your Honor. But the phone that you did examine, you said someone put an app on there to wipe it? That's correct. There's a cleaning application that was installed on the phone and utilized to wipe data. So this was intentional? That's intentional. Mm -hmm. So why were you wiping the phone clean? No, I install and clean an app on all my phones. I, I don't know why. It's just... I don't either. I do. I don't it even... looks very suspicious. You would it, agree? It, it does look suspicious. It does look suspicious, but... I can only tell my truth. I don't know what else to say. All right. So, Mr. Dimitrellis, were you able to recover anything from her phone? I did. I recovered a text message between Ms. McCullough and what appears to be another man. Okay. And this is the text message you got? This is it, Your Honor. The other man says, you got me feeling some type of way. I am, but you just met me. How I got you feeling some type of way? The other man, you can do all that. Better be high level. And so you did recover this from her phone? I did. Who is this man that you got feeling some type of way? I, I have no idea. No. I really but, don't. But I you really responded, don't. I am, but you just met me. So you acknowledged you oh, met me first. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Who is it? <laughs> it's some, some dude I had met at work, but... The first time I talked to him, he was talking about he loved me or he got me feeling some type of way, and you just met me, so I can't have you feeling any type of way. That's why I said, hi, I got you feeling some type of way. I just met you. All so right. did you go any further with this man? No. That was the end of it? That was the end of it. All right, so we, we also had a forensic voice analysis done. Is that correct, Mr. Wolf? Yes, Your Honor. All right, let's take a look at the first question you asked. Other than what we've discussed, during your two-year relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your boyfriend, Mark? No. Now, when you said other than what you discussed, were you referring to the seven months when they were apart? Yes, Your Honor, I was. Okay. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. I told you. That's kind of a unique combination of being relieved and shocked. All them situations going around, <laughs> enough to make anybody feel some type of way. 
And Ms. McCullough, I see tears in your eyes. Is that relief? Is that frustration? No, Is that... it's not relief, because I knew I was going to pass my test. It's, I love this man. 